Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katla Kona Gedi. Mugiao wako pitori. Today we're going to be doing um, an easy everyday look. Um, this is something that I do every day when I go to work, every day when I'm going out and I don't want to be too hectic. So that's the look that we're going to be doing today. You're probably wondering what I'm wearing on my head. So this is an old wig of mine. It's Afro-ish. So I don't know. I, I just thought it was going to be good for this. <laughs> the whole thing that I'm I'm doing now, the, the simple look video thing so that, uh, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of time on here also. So just get your wig, yeah, afro, put it on or anything that is simple, really, like just straight something quick. So that's what you want to do. So before we get into the video, guys, for you not to miss out on any of the videos that I put there, you need to subscribe if you are new to my channel. So there is a button, subscribe button. And guys, I have noticed that a lot of you think when you subscribe, um, you actually pay. No, it's not. Uh, that's not the case. You subscribe and then, then I don't think there's any charges to that. So you just subscribe so that you don't miss on any of the videos that you love and you, of the videos of somebody that you want to follow. So do press that uh, um, subscribe button. There's a bell next to it also. It will notify you every time when I have a video Oh, sorry. <laughs> when I have a video uploaded and then uh, that's what you need to do. And if you are returning, guys, you're, I, I thank you so much. You know, you guys are the best and your support is highly appreciated all the time. So today we're doing a simple makeup look, you know, a day to day makeup look, something that I would do when I am um, going to work. So you all can see the eyebrows are already done. Uh, I try to do that before uh, every video, but there is a video that I did on how to get your eyebrows done. So you can always go to that video. I'll leave the link somewhere on this video so that you can go and see how I got my eyebrows done. And there's also another video on do's and don'ts that I just, uh, loaded when last week i think so you can also go to that one practice until you get it right guys it's not gonna come out the first perfect the first time even i get it wrong sometimes and i've been doing this for a while so be patient with yourself give yourself time go on that same video for eyebrows check it more than one time make sure that you are getting it right and then once you have it right then we can move on to something else that you need help with don't forget to leave comments so that we can connect get to know you you get to know me any questions that you might have leave a comment guys i will answer the questions anything that you want to talk about anything you think we should talk about any make suggestions that you might have we can also do that for you we can always try it out for you and um also if you are retaining guys again thank you so much for retaining so we are gonna start with the video let's start right so first thing i start with is the vaseline i use as a primer so you just want to put vaseline on your face like that not too much guys because you don't want to be too oily also just enough to protect the skin from the makeup also so i use vaseline i've tried primers before but i still go back to vaseline i don't know why it's just me but if you have a primer you can use that also Okay, let's push this to the back a bit. Mm -hmm. And then. Uh -huh -huh. Oh, I'm shiny though. Oh. Okay. I think I put on a lot. And that should be fine. Right. And next thing, you're going to need your foundation. But I'm not trying to use the MAC foundation today. Um, I'm going to be using that other Maybelline Fix Me. So let's try using that one today. So you're going to put it on your face. Oh, my hands are a bit slippery because of the Vaseline. 
and put it on like that I hope I don't have it on the hair so guys this is really easy to do like I'm saying you do this every time when you're going to work um, it doesn't take that long also can this hair behave because wow I don't want to get I'll fix it once I'm done now yo have to behave her please listen then you're gonna need a brush like all then you go with the brush the reason why I said you don't use just the brush guys is that the brush will leave lines it helps with applying the foundation and making it easy and whatever but it leaves lines so you don't want to use just the eyebrow so it helps with spreading out the foundation to all the places that you need it to be but you don't want to walk out looking like that you see those lines so you don't want those lines you don't want to look like your foundation is cracking so you go on the forehead same thing you do this make sure that you go everywhere okay once you have that looking and popular and please don't forget to blend in your neck also because we don't want you looking like you have two colors it don't look right guys it don't look right it don't look right so try to make sure that you blend it in correctly Oh, but I have some on my eyebrow. I'm gonna have to fix that. Hmm, let's see if I brush it, will I be able to remove it? Yeah, there you go. So that's done. Then you're gonna move on to your beauty blender. We're taking out all those lines and blending in everything together. Ooh. See, it's coming. Uh, we're getting there. We're almost done. And then here, you're going to use the beauty blender. You saw I didn't go anywhere with the brush. Like, I didn't use the brush to go between my, my eyebrows because we don't want that block shape. Oh, sorry for the noise, guys. The kids are busy. They are at it again. I did explain what happens when i try to get a quiet place it never happens because there's always kids outside playing and because i love kids you know we don't want to let them play but <laughs> honestly oh, i can't and this beauty blender looks like it's gonna need cleaning as well so see how that looks you want to clean it and then i will leave a link also on how to get your beauty blenders cleaned we did this video already right so that's how you're gonna look popping right mm -hmm. after i'm done with this i normally because i'm not trying to look all you know i don't want anything that's gonna make me uh spend a lot of time doing my makeup so i'm gonna use my compact mirror it used to be a foundation from Black Gold Pal, but now it's finished. See, it's empty, so I use it as a compact mirror. So you can get somebody like something like this when you're doing your makeup. It's very convenient. So we have the shimmer. Wow, shimmer. I did uh, use it before in my videos. You know about this. I use it for my cheeks, and now I'm going to be using it as eyeshadow. I know so we're going with this because it shimmers and it's a bit goldish and we're trying to go for something simple so that's how you're gonna do I use my finger because guys I feel with the fingers it's it's more effective than using a brush the, the whole product stays on the brush and we don't want that so this is how you're gonna be popping Ooh. 
-hmm. As you can see, I'm only doing like the front of my eyelids. Uh, reason being, I'm going to use two colors. Uh, I'm going to go a bit dark on the end. You don't really have to do that. You can just cover the whole eyelid with uh, the shimmer. But with me, I prefer two colors. It makes them pop more. I don't know. That's just me. Okay, what happened here? Okay. Maybe we need the beauty blender. Okay. So you blend in everything again. So I have black. The only black that I have is the MAC, which I got from a friend. Tato, thank you for looking out. Girl, you got me, I know. So Tato gave me this. <laughs> Because she knows I have uh, a love for makeup. So, yeah. I'm still using it, babes, as you can see. Thank you so much. So, this was a MAC um, eyeshadow palette. It comes as a single eyeshadow palette. You can see I've been using it for a while. And it used to have, like, a glass thing covering here. It's gone. I don't know what happened to it. So, yeah. It's overused. Now you're gonna go to the end of your eye like that. We're going with the black. So you wanna pat it in. You see? The black makes it pop, guys. Then again, you go with your eyes. Ooh. Can I not drop it? Because this is the only black I have. Ah, oh, the struggle is gonna be so real if anything happens to this black. Okay. I always do funny faces when I put on makeup, guys. Sorry if I look funny. But I'm sure almost everybody has a makeup uh, face thingy they do. Mine is this one. I don't know why. More especially when I'm doing the eyes. <laughs> I know it looks so funny. But hey. Ooh, this one is popping. This one is like really doing the things. Can you see it, guys? Yes, so that's what we're going for. I'm going to get it on this side also. So this is just uh, at the end of your eye, really. And then with the same brush, you want to blend it in. Yeah? So what I normally do is that I would have something to clean uh, the brush as I go along. Like maybe a towel or this time I have like a small tissue thing going on there. So... You brush it like this you try to take out the the color so that it doesn't smudge everywhere because you don't want your eye to be dark dark right so with the same gold uh, shimmer you're gonna go yeah now we're gonna use the brush because we want to blend it in there so at the top you go pat it in a bit just a little bit because you don't want it to be too shimmery at, at the top now guys because it might look a bit funny. So, there you go. Oh, I have it on the black a bit. So, you clean it again. Do you see, guys? I hope y'all can see. Then, you're gonna now blend everything together with the black. So, it's more like you're cleaning it, but. You want the black to show you want, you don't want any harsh lines really so that's the mistake that everybody or most of us are doing and they're like you know but your eyeshadows are so nice because i try to blend them in as much as i can so the blending is the part that makes it nice so if you're not going to be blending it then it's going to look like you have two colors, like it can show. The hash lines are there. So try avoiding the hash lines. Okay. Maybe we need a bit more black. Because I feel like I took the gold took the black a bit. So you want it to pop like that. Black should be there, guys. That's my thing. At the end of your eye, you're going to have the black. Then you clean it up a bit. Then you blend it in with the gold again. That's what you're going to do. So make sure no hash lines are showing. So it should be something like this. I hope y'all can see. My lighting is so horrible, guys. I know. But we're going to do something with that soon. 
and then once I'm done with that um, I'm not gonna be doing any contouring on the face because I mean this is a simple look you know? we're not trying to look all dolled up completely but you still want to look nice so we're gonna do the lipstick favorite color by far it's the matte i have other colors guys <laughs> you probably wonder Mara, does she ha only have this color no this is the color i prepare and i feel like you know it's doing the things or should i try a different color for y'all so that you know it doesn't look like i have one okay let's see what other colors do we have uh but i think that one is gonna look okay let's try um but yeah that one is gonna look better okay we have this color but it might be too much it's, it's also nude but pinkish no we're not gonna do that color let's go back to this one we'll try other colors um on the other videos guys for now this is what we need because we're trying to go nude uh, uh simple not doing anything hectic so see and you're done then my eyes are not popping enough so we're gonna do the eyeliner so which is my kojal kojak i don't know what they call it that yeah this <laughs> So, you're going to put it underneath. Oh, I have a bit of gold. So, you go in with this. Like that. Can you see the difference, guys? This eye is popping more than this one, right? So, let's go. Do the other one. Because we want them both to pop, right? Popping. And, oh guys, I, I, I really struggle with the cat eye thing. We're going to have to try that at some point uh, so that I can get it right. Then we need mascara. Then we're going to be done with the look. We're going to be done. It's so easy, right? So this is like my everyday look. Uh, I have a bit of long eyelashes. I hope they do show. Let's see. They are already showing. So my eyelashes are a bit long. So that's why I don't normally have false lashes. But sometimes to make it extra, I do put them on. So yeah. So this is an everyday look with no false lashes. But I'll do a look where I put uh, lashes where I'm being really dramatic with, you know, um, bright colors and all of that. So I will put on false lashes for you so that you can see how that looks like. So see the difference. You can see my lashes are popping and then the other side i don't normally curl them i just go in straight direct to them uh gum mascara and then try to keep them as straight as possible i don't like them kelly and they never curl anyway my my lashes and they're like straight and really long okay so well, that's about it. Then we're going to have to see what we're going to do with this hair. Because that's your everyday look. Let's see what we're going to do with this hair. Guys, it might be messy. Eh? Yeah, all right. Let's see. Whoa. Okay. So, my hair. Come with us. You know, you all know I have short hair, right? So what I normally do with this um, afro of mine, I comb my own natural hair to the back. 
like this. Then I wear the wig. So the wig you can adjust it because of the cap. So you can adjust it at the back there. So I'm going to make it super tight. Uh, let's try making it super tight. Let's see if I put it at the end. Okay. Let's see. I know that's going to be a lot. Let's see if we put it here. Right. So you wear it from the front, right? And then it has like corners. See the corners? So that it can cover everything. So then where I have hair, I would like push it so that it looks a bit natural here. Yeah. Not the sides too much because I don't have too much hair there. Then I would do this. And normally what I would do with this type of hair, I know it's already big. But I prefer wearing bigger earrings with this look. I don't know. That's just me. So, yeah. The bigger, the better. So, this is like, dude. You can tell. Hurry. A whole hula hoop. So, I prefer wearing big earrings. Let's see if it works for this look or not. Because, yeah, it does. Actually. But you don't have to wear big earrings. That's just... How I prefer it guys because I know some of y'all are scared of big earrings but yeah I got this from mr. price by the way the big earrings hula hoops yeah. so this is the look guys every day easy look you are ready to go so you can go to work you can wear smaller earrings and go to work <laughs> Because I always struggle with these ones at work. But yeah, this is like an everyday look. So you can even go to the park, whatever. An everyday easy look. And it was so quick. You saw that, there, guys? It was really quick. So thank you so much for joining me on this video. And I do look forward to seeing you on the next video. And I hope this video did help you. Thank you so much, guys. See you on the next one.